I want to talk about mental health. Okay. Okay, so in November, I found out my psychiatrist was leaving. Mm -hmm. um, I am diagnosed bipolar. I've been diagnosed for over the better part of a decade. Um, she left. I can't find anyone else. My father is a physician. So is my sister. They cannot find me availability. Nobody wants to take me on as a patient. Yeah. So this, and I'm sorry you're going through that. It's, I, 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 I cannot imagine dealing with that kind of anguish and also not knowing when you're gonna get treatment. But I have some good news for you, and it's that we know what's causing this. These is just another example of what's happening in healthcare, where access is going down. And the reason access is going down is because of these increasing regulations, which aren't just driving up the cost of care. Uh, there was a recent study that showed that uh, just, not even getting into like the pharmaceutical patents and everything, just the red tape related to Medicare, Medicaid, and government mandated insurance contributed up to 75% of the total cost of healthcare. And to be clear, I'm not talking about the cost of providing these services. I'm talking about the cost of doctor's offices having to show that they're complying with all these different laws. When you go into a hospital and there's one doctor and two or maybe three nurses and like 15 administrators, the reason there are all those administrators, it doesn't make their job easier. The reason they have all those administrators is to go through all the hoops and hurdles to make sure that they're complying with all of the various regulatory burdens. That drives up costs, but you know what it also does? It puts doctors out of business because they can't afford it. And so they go, all right, well, I guess I'll pack it in. Some of them will join larger companies, which if you're wondering why your healthcare is increasingly being provided by these massive companies, I don't know what the big ones are here, but like Kaiser Permanente, Cleveland Clinic, back home it's uh, Atrium, Grand Strand Regional. Like when you see these larger companies that are growing and growing, that's not because the market wanted that. That's because they're the only ones, these mega corps that can afford the cost of demonstrating compliance. And then the doctor's jobs are harder and harder because they join these companies and they, their workload is doubled and they're told you have 10 minutes for each patient, uh, and then that causes the, the more malpractice to happen because doctors are working with twice as many people and making mistakes as a result of not being able to keep track of it. All of this contributes to doctors becoming demoralized and becoming disenfranchised and saying, this doesn't work for me anymore. I'm gonna quit. And so you have more doctors in many fields, including in mental health, more doctors retiring then replacing them. You're also seeing it with nurses, and there's about to be a big nursing crisis there as well. But you see more and more doctors that are just going, you know what, I was gonna quit in a few years, I was gonna retire, I'm not gonna get into this. And because of all of those impositions, as well as the exponential increase in student loans to even become a doctor in the first place, more and more prospective doctors are looking at the math and going, yeah, this ain't gonna work for me. But the good news is that when we get rid of those burdens, when Joe is in office and she gets rid of that red tape and those barriers and burdens and mandates and taxes that are driving up costs, that allows more people to take that same cost benefit analysis and go, oh, okay, yeah, this makes sense. I can now make money as a doctor and I don't have to join some mega corp that's gonna control my you know, 18 hours every day of my life until I'm 65. And you, we will have more doctors as a result of that. So it's I, unfortunately, it's not an immediate band-aid fix. I wish that it was. I wish that I could find you a doctor that you need right now, I truly do. But I can tell you that getting rid of this fixes the systemic problem that led to that in the first place. And you're not alone. We are going to fix this. And thank you for your time. I hope that answered your question.